Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a quick clash detection in Revit. So we have a mechanical model. It's linked to an architectural model. And if I go to Collaborate tab, Interference Check, Run the Check. And from Current Project, I want to see how ducts uh, might affect anything. I know I have so many pipes here, but they are so thin, so I wouldn't worry about that uh, clashes. Uh, the pipe is only about a bit more than one centimeter in diameter. Now, the other category is going to be the linked architectural model. And in a specific, I know the duct is going up, so I want to know if it has any clashes with the ceiling or and with the roof. I know it doesn't have any other clashes, but if you are not sure, you can check walls or anything else too. I'll hit OK. It's going to show me this window. And uh, if I click on anything, it's going to show the ID of that element and uh, it's going to be highlighted over there. Uh, and this is the other duct. And it's clashing with the roof. Uh, I might have missed one ceiling here because uh, there should be one clash. Uh, with the other duct and the ceiling too. Uh, you can export this report, uh, report as HTML file. Uh, you can also take a screenshot and just use these IDs. Uh, if you close this window and you want to go back to that element, which is 968664, uh, the way you work with these IDs is that you go with manage, and you go with select by ID, you put that value 968664, 968664, hit OK, and it's going to show you that ID. Or if you open the architecture model, you don't know which ceiling or which roof it is. Again, if you go with manage uh, or select by ID, you can select by ID, and in the architecture model, uh, later we need to go back to the architecture menu but in the architecture model and use one of these opening items to create an opening uh, on both the ceiling and the roof uh, for the duct. That's it for this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.